What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video I want to show you Expose 2 by Mastering the Mix. This is a standalone application that analyzes your audio. You can put a mix or master in it and it's going to analyze it and provide you feedback. And this is a really cool plugin for those who aren't confident in their mixes or masters and just can really help you get things within spec before the song goes out to distribution. So I've got a mix that I've loaded in here that I've done a while ago. And when you load a mix here, you have four parameters here on the left. First one is going to be your LUFS. Then you've got your true peak and DB, your stereo image and phase here. And the last one is your dynamic range. If it is red, it is out of spec for that parameter. If it's blue, it's within spec. And you can see that Expose 2 doesn't really like my mix I've got in here right now. We're mostly red, so we're missing three out of the four parameters here. And once you load a track in here, you can click this F here to get feedback. So we'll go back to that in just a second, but you can highlight over these sections as well if you want to analyze just a particular part. And back to the feedback analysis here. So let's look at, let's look at what this is saying about uh, my mix. So the loudness, you can see it, it wants it louder. Uh, the peak is, well, let's see what the peak says. Adjust the loudness of your mix by plus 6.4. So it wants us to turn it up. And stereo imaging, it's happy there. This track, well balanced between left and right speaker, and there's no phase issues. Uh, dynamic range is saying that's out of spec as well. So... We're going to make some adjustments here. And this menu here at the top is where you're going to select what you're going for. Under mixing, we've got balance, dynamic, loud, and punchy. Right now, I've got it set to balance. You have mastering, broadcast, and you can set user presets. I'm going to switch this to punchy, and let's just see what we've got here. If anything really changes, I wouldn't think that it does. Yeah, we're still we're still missing three out of uh, four here. You can see here parts of your audio are too compressed uh, for this preset. So yeah, so let's make some. I've made some changes here, and we also have a loudness match option as well. That's nice. I've made some changes, and we're gonna drag that mix in now. Let's see what it thinks of this one. Okay, so now we're hitting three out of four, so uh, a lot better here. And we hit the analysis here. And what I like about this is that it doesn't just tell you what's wrong. It tells you what's right as well, which can be encouraging. So besides the feedback analysis, you also have a compare EQ here, which is going to, you can select here, a preset or you can bring in your own reference files and it's going to give you a comparison EQ. So right now we're set to balance master. Let's go through some uh, few presets here. Let's go to pop and let's just do hip hop, dance. So, okay, with rock here. So you see, let me close that. Okay, the 0 dB here, anything that's above this 0 dB mean you have more perceived level than what that genre has, and below it, you have less perceived level in those frequencies than uh, what that genre has. So, this, while this, I think this is a good tool for people, like I said, that's not confident in their mixes, and... It's a really interesting plugin, or I wouldn't call it a plugin, it's an application uh, that you can use. I would just warn people not to mix by numbers. You can't mix by numbers. And this doesn't, per se, get you to mix by numbers, because we're really looking at your luffs, your peak. EQ can kind of get to be mixing by numbers, but you know, my point here is that you shouldn't look at something and say oh well this is plus 6 db here so i need to make mine plus 6 db you don't want to get into that habit at all because you cannot mix and master by numbers but i do feel this is a very useful tool for just getting some feedback on your mixes again especially for those people who 
Americans aren't confident in, you know, what, what they're doing. And this is interesting to see one of my mixes on here and see what it thinks of that. Um, I would, you know, you can just keep tweaking your mix or master until you get blue across the board and you know that it's happy with everything. So, you know, also if you have people that you're sending your mix to that's just kind of telling you they like it, telling it it's good, this is a great tool that's not going to, I don't say those people are lying to you, but, you know, this is a tool here that's going to look at, you know, certain specs and let you know if you're in or outside of those specs. So I've got a link in the description for this if you want to check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.